shot number eight for Marco Gonzalez. Back Marco Gonzalez. He is rolling. For my game day look, I try to keep it pretty simple, but I try to bring, you know, a little edge to it. I usually try to wear something like all black. Uh, just to let you know, I'm, I'm serious, I'm competitive, I'm intense. Um, you know, some things I've learned from guys like Kobe and, uh, you know, guys who have inspired me in the past. On game day, what would your general routine be when you're pitching? It's a lot. Um, and it's down to, sometimes down to the minute of, you know, scheduling out my day. But um, I try to, you know, eat a lighter breakfast, uh, not too much, keep myself kind of, um, you know, light and fresh and uh, get to the field. Uh, usually have a little bit of downtime to kind of collect my thoughts and um, get myself together. And then um, usually after that we go into a pitcher catcher and pitching coach meeting, game planning, um, you know, working on our signs, things like that. Um, and then it's headphone time. I, I kind of one of those guys that, you know, I don't, I don't like to talk to anybody. Um, keep my head down and, um, you know, I really won't say anything to anybody <laughs> until you know, maybe during the game. Um, I really try to, you know, keep myself quiet and I think that that kind of helps me to, to stay focused. Finish the sentence. The impact of Jackie Robinson can best be described as? <sighs> Legendary. Um, you know, the way that he has impacted the game, you know, has allowed um, for so many people to, um, you know, just kind of break their way into the MLB and baseball in general. And um, even someone like me with, you know, a mixed background, um, I think that you know a lot of things wouldn't be possible without him, and so uh, I know there's you know a lot of guys that look up to that and and you know want to want to pay their respects to that too. Good pitch from Marco on the edge. Oh, he got Great him! Pitch. Oh, 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 yes, indeed. What's the movie role you wish you would get cast for? <laughs> oh man, um, I want to be a Marvel superhero for sure. Um, you know, next Avengers. Look out! I think I'm. I think I'm in there. Sometimes fans have a hard time identifying athletes when they're not in uniform. Who do you wish you would get mistaken for? <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. Um, gosh, I've, I've heard like uh, Mario Lopez before. So um, you know, maybe you know, walking down the street, like that'd be a huge compliment. Like I'd be like, I'd be feeling, I'd be feeling that for sure. Cut on and miss. Swing and miss. That's a big strikeout. Swing and a miss for strike three. Finishes him off. Oh, beauty. Six strikeouts for Marco. Seattle is synonymous with coffee. At what point did coffee become part of your daily routine? The second that I moved there. <laughs> I think um, it's just something that you got to have. You got to appreciate it. And uh, I'm not talking about Starbucks. I'm not talking about, you know, the chains. Uh, craft, good craft coffee and uh, you know that's that's just a part of the daily for sure it's got to be as a kid which parent had the look that meant you were in trouble uh, my mom my mom was the she had the structure she had the discipline um, with one look you know she could kind of get you in your place my dad just wanted to have fun um, and, and he could be tough too but you know your mom <clears throat> I felt like me, for me and my brother we always knew when we were in trouble well, maybe you deserve to get in trouble because you were playing games in the house that you shouldn't have been playing. What were those games? You name it, uh, dodgeball, wiffle ball, uh, anything with a ball, uh, anything throwing anything, uh, ping pong, and you know, just just being kids. We just we just rough house. We had unlimited <laughs> unlimited space. We just we just kind of went for it. Cut on it, miss. Swing and a miss struck him out.